Hello everybody! Today we're going to talk about dun, 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 data science. Shocker, I know. This buzzword, buzzwords, buzz term, let's call it, because it's two words, so. We're going to walk through a very simple explanation that will hopefully leave you understanding and knowing the difference between three buzz terms that have been circulating around a lot lately. Data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence. Boom, let's get started. The word data may sound intimidating. It may remind you of that statistics course you hated. However, in reality, data is simply recorded facts. That's it. Data is all around us. Your name, your Instagram likes, the YouTube accounts you follow, your Spotify playlist and listen history, your report card grades, the purchases you made on your credit card. These are all pieces of data. Data science is the study of applying data to solve problems. This sounds extremely general. That's because it is. There are lots of different ways that data scientists make magic out of data. They can use it to make predictions for the future or to extract insights and answer questions by pulling out information from the data in various ways. One of the most common applications of data science is artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is the idea of using technology to simulate human thinking processes or actions. There are many examples of artificial intelligence in our daily lives. Hey Google, hey Siri, hey Alexa, these lady bots, lady bots, lady bots, use artificial intelligence to translate our human voices into information that they can understand as computers. Another very well-known example is self-driving cars. Self-driving cars use artificial intelligence to decide which actions to make and when to make them. A less obvious example is found in streaming services like Netflix and Spotify. They use artificial intelligence to predict what else we may like based on things we've already watched or listened to. Shout out to Netflix for my reality TV addiction. I blame you. Cool, so artificial intelligence, AI, was an easy one. Let's move on to ML, machine learning. Machine learning is a subfield of AI. It's the process of teaching a machine to learn from experience. Data is the first ingredient. You can't have machine learning without having data. The other two ingredients are mathematical algorithms and computer programming or code. Most of you probably know what code is, but many may be intimidated by the sound of mathematical algorithms. <laughs> it's one of those words that sounds scarier than it actually is. We do usually use the word algorithms in math and computing, but in reality, algorithms are all around us just like data is. An example is brushing your teeth. You plus toothbrush plus toothpaste times two times a day that you should be brushing your teeth equals excellent oral hygiene. This is an algorithm. So to write a machine learning program, we basically just need a mathematical algorithm and we program it into a computer and then we push data through it and the output is a piece of information that the machine or the computer can understand. It uses this information to learn and make predictions for the future. Let's go back to the Netflix example to illustrate this. You watch a bunch of stuff on Netflix. Your account has data stored based on what you watch. So it's collecting all of the shows and movies that you watch, keeping track of them in the form of data. Netflix takes this data and the data of other streamers and applies some math to it crunches some numbers and figures out what else you may like based on the attributes of the data that it has for what you've already watched. The output of this is predictions, what other shows and movies you may enjoy. Some really smart Netflix employees program this into their computers and then they push it out to the Netflix application so that we can get our recommendations and we can continue binge watching for far too long. So my friends, I hope this gave you a bit of clarity on what data science, artificial intelligence, and machine learning actually mean. If you'd like to learn more about these topics, I have another video up on how to become a data scientist and there are some great resources in there for learning more about machine learning and data science. 
Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see. Thank you for watching and please observe all the data and algorithms around you in life. It'll make life more, more beautiful. Bye.